Here's how to get Saedos 1.21.8 for Minecraft so you could have a mini map and hopefully you don't have it on the middle of the screen as I just left it. So you could have a mini map in Minecraft 1.21.8. Let's go. Now, the first step to get Saedos is to click the second link in the description, which is going to place you in this article in here. Quick article in case I go too fast in this video. But if you want to get it straight to the point, just go down to step one and press on the Saedos mini map button. That is going to redirect you to this page where we're going to scroll down and we're going to select game version 1.21.8. And then in here it's very important that you select the right mod loader when downloading Saedos. Now, if you already have fabric or neoforge or perhaps forge installed then just look for your mod loader in here and download the proper version but if you don't have any mod loaders installed don't worry i'm going to teach you how to install it in just a second so like i said if you don't have any mod loader we're going to download the forge one if you already have some other mod loader installed just find the right one in here and download that one okay now if you don't have any mod loader click on these three dots right next to forge not neoforge forge and then click download file and then the download will begin right away now if perhaps you don't want to get forge but you want to get fabric then just follow the same steps but instead of downloading the forge version of Saedos, download the fabric one and then later on instead of installing forge install fabric and then just add the fabric api with your mods and you'll be good okay now once you download Saedos, i want you to go ahead and place it in your desktop you can find that file here on your recent download history or within the default downloads folder of your computer now at this moment if you already have forge as a mod loader or maybe you downloaded other versions and you already have that mod loader just add Saedos to your mods folder for those of you watching this video that already have fabric and downloaded the fabric version of Saedos, just make sure you also have fabric api and you are good after you add this mod into your mods folder but if you downloaded the mod and you're following along without having a mod loader then let's go ahead and install forge this is going to allow us to load mods into minecraft click on the third link in the description quick article again in case i go too fast in this video but if you want to go straight to the point go down to step one press on forge that is going to redirect you to this page where we're going to select 1.21.8 right here on the left side and then after you select 1.21.8 let's a little bit down and click on the installer right here that redirects you to another page where all you have to do is wait five seconds without clicking anything until you see this escape button on the top right and then go ahead and press on it and that'll begin the download for the installer of forge right away now i want you to go ahead and place the installer of forge on your desktop just like we did with saedos earlier again you already know where to find the file on your recent download history or the downloads folder of your pc and after we already place forge in our desktop we are kind of ready to begin first thing you want to do is close your minecraft game as well as your minecraft launcher and then go ahead and double click on the forge installer now if the forge installer doesn't open or perhaps it opens as a web browser a text document or maybe it just gives you the option to select how you want to open it don't worry i'm going to teach you how to fix that in just a second but if the forge installer did open then just go ahead and select install client and hit okay and like I was saying if the forge installer didn't open that's because you don't have java 21 java 21 it's a requirement when modding minecraft 1.21.8 so i'll leave you this in the description of this video it goes over how to get java 21 it's actually quite simple you just download it from its site and then you hit next a couple of times in the installer you have java 21 and that'll let you install forge and any other mod that you want to install for minecraft any other shaders maybe make your own server whatever you want to do you will require to have java 21 now after forge finishes installing you're gonna get this prompt in here go ahead and hit okay and now you could even delete the forge installer from your desktop because you don't need that anymore now it's time to add the minimap into the game and here's how to do it go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and when the minecraft launcher opens if you install forge properly you should have it selected here automatically as you can see here but we're not going to hit play just yet because we need to add saedos as a mod into the game head over to installations and make sure you have modded selected without modded you actually won't see forge in here and once you already see forge hover over it and press where it says open installations folder that is going to open a folder that contains a lot of files but you are looking for one folder called mod M-O-D-S and my mods folder is right here but I'm actually going to delete it and the reason I deleted it is to teach you what to do if you don't have a mods folder if you don't have a mods folder all you have to do is press new press folder and then just call this folder mods M-O-D-S just like that go ahead and open it up probably empty by this point and all you have to do now guys is drag and drop Saedos from your desktop into this folder if you're going to add any other mods in here and like I said earlier if you're doing fabric instead of forge just make sure you also add the fabric API but if you're going to add any other mods in here just make sure they are compatible with your mod loader if you're following along that should be forged and of course your minecraft version 1.21.8 after you're done adding mods in here close this folder head back into the minecraft launcher and now it's time to test saedos and to set it up go ahead and hit play right next to forge you might get this prompt in here read through it and if you agree hit this understand right here and then hit play one more time now minecraft just opened and we know that we're in forge because it says forge down here but let's go ahead and launch a world just so we could test out our saedos minimap working within this world and also so i could teach you how to set it up in different ways as you can see right now i have it in the middle of the screen and when you load in it's going to be like on a black screen 
in fact, give it a couple seconds and as you will see, it will start updating as you can see in there. Now, if you want to set up Cytos properly, just press Y on your keyboard, the letter Y, you'll get this menu here. And now you could change the position of Cytos. You could change the size. You could even change the circle shape. If you want to turn it into a square, or if you want to put it back as a circle, the frame, whatever you want to change, you could do so in here, guys. And that's it. That's pretty much how to configure Cytos. You also have the waypoint settings and you could access your waypoints by pressing U on your keyboard. So if you press U, you'll be able to set up new world points or waypoints. If you want to turn this village into like something in your map, you could just add in here as a waypoint. And there you guys have it, how to get Cytos 1.21.8 for Minecraft. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.